Okay, so we're going to do our circular spring now. Now, this is going to have to be taken outside. If you have a little portable speaker or something like that, you are got to find yourself a bit, a bit of space for this. If not, then just mark it through. So remember, marking it means you do it at about 50% energy. So obviously, we have the big space in the room. We even have to turn this sideways to fit it in. It's a big energy dance, but we modern theater dancers love our circular springs and we love to travel. The secret to travel, and traveling fast and low, is to stay down. Now, I'm quite lucky, I have loose Achilles tendons and loose calf muscles, so I can bend quite low. So it means when I add in my body weight as well, I can literally get down here, which means for bigger steps. I don't even have the space in the room here to even show you. If you don't, then it might be a little bit more difficult for you to get those step turn steps um, far enough. So I was just super lucky that way. Um, you can stretch out your calves, but you can't stretch your Achilles tendon. And that's what gives you that deep plie. So just check out your plie. If your plie is about here and there's no stretching to be done in the calf, then go a little bit easier on these bends. You can compensate by bringing your body weight forward. You would never do that in a plie exercise, by the way. That's just in your circular springs. But just see yourself, check out the diamond shape. The bigger the diamond, it means the longer your Achilles tendons are and the longer the tendons and your calf muscles are. So that's just, that's just life. So that's something to think about. So our circular spring, three circular springs. Let's go over the arms first. So in your circular spring, you finish here. Okay, ready? And circular spring. And this is the position here. I know in class often it becomes this, and in our dance as well. In our dance it's the same. Boom, ka, it's here. So you end up with your knees crossed and your hands clasped. Now higher or lower than your face, right actually almost diagonally down from your shoulders. And then you release on the step full change. And on the step full change, they're just relaxed sideways. Okay, that's all it is. So two of those. Ready, and spring across, step, full, change. Spring across, step, full, change. And test yourself, can you pause in that position? Okay, that's how you know if those arms are right. The third one comes from your back. So this comes from here, down and out, your wingspan. Your wingspan is how far you can stretch those arms out, keeping your shoulders down and long. So your third one, goes circular spring so here's your position here ready circular spring so someone who can take a snapshot of you and check circular spring you hit this position before your step will change okay so this is just going to be marking it today again if you have the space use the space that you have for me not so much so i'm going to start right over here and actually just move that because i'll probably kick my toes a circular spring, you, in this case, I'm going to spring forward onto my actual right. I should have done it the other way around, but hey, hey. Um, so spring forward, and you release that foot behind you. It draws a half circle. Actually, that's really just a quarter circle. A quarter circle, and when your heel comes round, you pivot on your heel, on your other heel, your standing heel. So spring, circle, pivot, and you end up with your legs parallel to each other. So spring down low, skims the floor, pivot, put your weight onto it, step full change, spring onto it, pivot, and step full change. Okay, so let's see, let's go your way. So we'll go to the right first. So ready, and you've got spring across, step full change, spring across, step full change. Spring across, step full change. What foot is free? Your left foot. So your left foot goes behind, steps across, back to the front, and then it's same arm and leg. Can I come back into camera shot here? Same arm and leg. And in this case, your knee is pointing forward. So you really have to tilt your body oh, to get that leg up nice and high and then invert it and stop it with your other hand. Okay, so that's a hop and a dig. And again, ready, and hop, dig. Ready, and hop, and dig. And again, ready, and hop, and dig. And you really wanna get that sense of elevation and pause. Ready, and hop, 
up and dig. Okay, so that's your end. So you've got on your right foot, ready, I'm trying to remember how to do a teacher's right. Ready, and you've got spring across, step, full change. Spring across, step, full change. Spring across, step, full change. Behind side, front, hop and dig. I just about did it. Okay, so if you're looking for the song, we use Billie Jean, Michael Jackson. another song that is equally as awesome for that particular exercise and can you figure it out on the left all right so go back over the video check it out on the right and on see if you can figure it out on the left remember in your paddleboard turning you always turn backwards on yourself as opposed to a step turn step that you turn forwards on yourself Okay guys, sorry I can't be there to do it with you. Miss you guys also so terribly and hopefully this will keep you dancing and keep you motivated to learn your dance until I see you again. Okay, take care. <laughs>